general software features and trends software is instructions to the computer a series of instructions that perform a particular task is called a program the two major categories are system software and application software system software is made up of control programs including the operating communication software and database manager applications software is any program that produces data for the user inventory payroll spreadsheets word processor etc a common misconception is that software is also data it is not software tells the hardware in how a process the data in today's world software projects are becoming more and more complex in size sophistication and technologies used now most software products cater to millions of users they support different national languages and come in different sizes and shapes desktops standard professional enterprise and so on for example operating systems with processors and even enterprise resource planning erp package support multiple language and in the case of erp system multiple currencies almost all application software products like word processors erp packages and even scm tools support more than one hardware and or software platform for example we have erp system that run on mainframes and client server systems different versions of web browsers for the pc and mac we have databases management systems that runs on mvs unix windows nt linux and so on the competition and the advancement in technology are driving software vendors to include additional functionality and new features to their products just to stay in business the information technology in revolutionizing the way we live the work it is changing all aspects of our life and lifestyle the digital revolution has given mankind the ability to treat information with a mathematical precision to transmit it at very high accuracy that to manipulate it will these capabilities are bringing into being a whole world within around the physical world the amount of calculation power that is available to mankind is increasing computers and communications are becoming in integral parts of our lives the driving force behind all these advancement is the computer a uh, software being used to control a range of activities from mission critical applications like controlling the operations and satellites and intercontinental ballistic missiles managing the functioning of banks and hospitals handling the airline and railway reservation systems etc to performing mundane tasks task like operating a door locking system for desktop publishing another aspect of software that has changed its complexity in the early days of software development computer programs were typically less than 1000 machine instructions in size and required only one programmer to write the seldom took more than a month to complete and the entire development cost were often less than $5000 but today some of the large system exceeded 25 million source code statements and usually require thousands of programmers and may take more than 5 years to complete with the development costs in the range of dollar 500 million in the early days of software development all the parts or uh, modules of a software system were developed in the same place 
the different components of today's complex software systems are not even built by the same organization many software systems are built jointly by different organizations working from different parts of the world they may communicate via the internet using email or video conferencing technology so in this distributed development environments where face to face communications is rare managing and coordinating and the development process is a difficult task this increasing demand for new software the necessity to modify or maintain the existing software and the increasing complexity of software development process and the electrical nature of the applications in which software is being used all necessities uh, that the software development cannot be done as it is done during the early days software has become a central component in many complex activities for this reason the challenge of producing it requires specialized and powerful techniques it is not possible to really rely on luck like boost work and innate talent for dependable results software systems are subject to constant changes during design development and even after development in the pioneering work in this area has been done by layman and uh, billy and it detailed as a set of laws called uh, layman's law according to layman's law of continue change any large software system that is being used will undergo continual change because the systems use will suggest additional functionality it will change until it becomes more cost effective to rewrite it from scratch this means that the software uh, will be subject to constant changes other than the bug fixes and defects that are already in the software and which will be detected during and after its development this is not all the software system that is perfectly developed and which had met all the requirements and passed all the audits and reviews will also change according to lehman even if a system were built a complete comfortance for conformance to the requirements the system will still evolve because the system is introduced into the real world and to the environment into which the system is introduced in subject to change so in order to adapt to the changes in the environment in which the system works it has to change in other words no matter how perfectly you had built the system it will have to be changed to meet the changes in the environment so it is clear that the only constant thing about software is change if the changes are not managed then it will lead to chaos and confusion so a mechanism for managing the change and controlling it is required now we have seen that software products and systems are becoming larger more complex and more sophisticated in this chapter we will discuss some of the trends that will play a vital role in the development of software products of today and tomorrow ease of use the software system and applications are become more and more easy to use in fact software developers and system analysts go to great length to ensure that the products they develop are user friendlier than their competitors uh, products also if one analyzes the new version of the existing products one can see that with each new version software applications become more and more user friendly the user interacts uh, they are more intuitive and error um, manages messages are um, more descriptive there is context sensitive help 
There are tutorials and computer-based training CBT to teach how to use the software. And there are wizards and templates to help the users when he or she encounters a problem. So software system have come a long way in the case of ease of use and in future we will see software that are more user friendly which will provide expert advice and assistance in performing the tasks using the software graphical user uh, interface mm, gui or graphical user interface has now became the de facto standard for most of the software applications gone are, are the days of the crude character based interfaces of uh, unix and dos applications today software applications and products uh, providing the um, users with the intuitive graphical and easily to use interfaces now the users do not have to remember the cryptic system commands or shortcut keys that were in must in the character based era now almost any task can be accomplished by a mouse click for example in a dos environment to copy a file one needs to know a the command of copying files is exact syntax etc whereas the windows environment you just have to drag the files you want to copy from the source of destination similarly almost all the tasks could be performed by mouse clicks the user is presented with the dialog boxes and step by step uh, instructions uh, to perform the tasks without any problem in fact in many cases the software guiding the users using icons uh, dialog boxes and other graphical elements so that even a novice can perform the task without any external assistance